Okay guys, um, another little quick video, just a quick one before we move on to customising the stack in the mixer for our custom kits. Bear in mind, once you've built a custom sample based kit, you know, like we did with this 707-727 hybrid, <laughs> you can always do this. You take the tom low, for example, right? Um, and the tom mid and the tom high. Take the tom low, create a track for it. It creates a track for the kick as well, and a track for the tom low. Right. Now, create a track for the tom mid, and a track for the tom high. Boom. So now we've got a track for the tom low, tom mid, and tom high 707 toms. Now you select the tom low track, save in the library, and we're saving just the low Tom, I go to my Z01 kit pieces, remember the shortcut we built, it takes me right to the factory location. I go into Tom's and I save it as Tom Low 707. And I've saved an independent 707 Low Tom. Now I'll do the same to the mid. Select the mid Tom, save, go to my Z01 kit pieces into Tom's, and this is Tom mid 707, save, and same for the high, select the high, save, go to my Z01 kit pieces, into the Tom's folder, Tom high 707, save, and now I've <laughs> I've saved the three toms from my 707-727 kit independently as 707 toms like that and they're available now. Let's load up say Drum Machine Designer After Party. Open the After Party. Choose the low tom and in my library I'm going to load up my low 707. <laughs> tom mid. Load up my 707 tom m -m -m mid. Where is it down here? And Tom High, load up my 707 Tom High. So once you've built a custom kit of a classic old drum machine, any individual drums, you can just save them into the library as independent voice patches to, to then load into any other kit. You haven't got to go to all the palaver of making them from scratch. It's, it's fantastic. And just to show you, open up the stack. The toms are should be rooted to the correct out um, submix. Let's have a look. Yep, Tom bus. Tom bus. Yep. Yeah, see? Easy peasy. How about that? What a time saver. You just build a kit, like a Lin kit, and you can save any of those individual Lin drums into the library as separate Lin drums to then load into any other kit in the future. So when you build a custom kit, you can then save off the individual drums you want as individual drums. And uh, no need to do anything except to save them. No need to build them from scratch. Oh yeah, baby.